Peppa Pig, George's friend. Peppa and her friends are having lots of fun at the playground today. Peppa is on the roundabout with Susie Sheep and Danny Dog. George is playing in the sandpit with Mummy Pig. Rebecca Rabbit and her little brother Richard Rabbit arrive. Richard has brought his toy dinosaur. Hello everyone, says Rebecca. Please can I play on the roundabout too? Hop on Rebecca, says Daddy Pig. <laughs> Let's go really, really fast, says Rebecca. Richard wants to go on the roundabout with his big sister. Peppa sighs. <sighs> if Richard gets on, it means we can't go fast. <coughs> Richard, perhaps you'd like to play with George instead, says Mummy Rabbit. No, says Richard. George has a dinosaur just like yours, says Mummy Rabbit. Let's go and see. Richard is the same age as George, and they both love dinosaurs. Richard wanted to see George's dinosaur, says Mummy Rabbit. Urgh, dinosaur, roars George. George and Richard both giggle. George, can Richard play with your dinosaur? asks Mummy Pig. No, says George. Richard, can George play with your dinosaur? asks Mummy Rabbit. No, says Richard. George and Richard do not want to share their dinosaurs. Oh. Mummy Rabbit gives both dinosaurs to George. George laughs and Richard starts to cry. <coughs> then Mummy Pig gives both dinosaurs to Richard. Richard laughs and George starts to cry. <coughs> George and Richard always cry when they play together, says Peppa. Can you two big girls teach him how to play together? asks Mummy Rabbit. Peppa and Rebecca take George and Richard to the sand pit. Oh! The girls show their brothers how to make sand castles. Wow! George uses his spade to squash Richard's sand castle. Richard cries. Richard uses his spade to squash George's sandcastle. George cries. This game has not gone very well. George, what's your favourite thing in the whole playground? asks Mammy Pig. Seesaw, shouts George. George sits on one end of the seesaw, but it needs someone on the other end. Richard wants to play on the seesaw too. <laughs> Mummy Rabbit lifts Richard onto the seesaw. George and Richard go up and down on the seesaw. George and Richard are playing together, cheers Peppa. George likes Richard. Richard likes George. George and Richard like playing together. The end. Peppa Pig, Grandpa Pig to the rescue. Grandpa Pig is taking Peppa and George for a ride on his little train, Gertrude. Gertrude has rubber wheels so we don't have to go on train tracks, says Grandpa Pig. Wow. I love Gertrude, says Peppa. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is in her big train, taking the grown-ups to work. Morning, Grandpa Pig, calls Miss Rabbit. Out on your toy train again. Gertrude is not a toy. She is a miniature locomotive, says Grandpa Pig. The 
big train is going very fast. It can go much faster than Gertrude. Oh no, the big train has broken down. Gertrude catches up with Miss Rabbit's big train. You need to get yourself a train that doesn't break down like Gertrude, says Grandpa Pig. That's a good idea, says Miss Rabbit. I'm borrowing your little train. All change, calls Mr. Rabbit. All the passengers climb into Gertrude and Grandpa Pig is left behind. Oh no! Mrs. Cow is waiting for the train at the next station. How's the train, Shank? asks Mrs. Cow. Now, this is a toy train, says Miss Rabbit. Gertrude is not a toy train. She is a miniature locomotive, says Peppa. There is a traffic jam on the road, so Miss Rabbit takes a shortcut. Hello, ducks, calls Peppa as they ride past the duck pond. Gertrude might not be very fast, but at least she can ride on the grass. Gertrude crawls up the very steep hill. Wow! You can make it, cheer the passengers. Gertrude reaches the top of the hill very slowly. By the time she reaches the last station, it will be time for everyone to go home again. Back down the line, Grandpa Pig is trying to mend the big train. Grandpa Pig loves mending things. So many interesting bits and bobs, says Grandpa Pig, but can he put them back together again? Finally, Gertrude reaches the station, and so does Grandpa Pig with the big train. Oh. You've mended it, <coughs> says Peppa. <coughs> All change, calls Mr. Rabbit. <laughs> Everyone gets in the big train, ready to go home. <coughs> Off we go, says Miss Rabbit. Stop, cries Peppa. <coughs> what about Gertrude? We can't leave her behind. Don't worry, we can take the toy train as well, says Miss Rabbit. She uses a crane to hoist Gertrude into the big train. Wow. Gertrude is not a toy, says Grandpa Pig. We know, says Miss Rabbit, she is a miniature locomotive. Miss Rabbit drives all the passengers and Gertrude home. Hooray! Everyone agrees that Gertrude is the best miniature locomotive in the whole world. Hooray! Gertrude is the best train in the whole world, <coughs> says Peppa. <laughs> the Peppa Pig, Grandpa Pig's Greenhouse. <coughs> Peppa and George are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. They race across the garden to find Grandpa Pig. <coughs> Hello, Grandpa, shouts Peppa. George has found a ball and is playing with it. Careful, George, my greenhouse is made out of glass, which breaks easily, says Grandpa Pig. Grandpa Pig throws the ball out of harm's way. The ball goes over the fence and lands in Grandad Dog's garden. Oi, who's throwing footballs at my greenhouse? Grandad Dog calls over the fence. Grandpa Pig goes to speak to Grandad Dog. Call that a greenhouse? It's a pile of rotten old windows, says Grandpa Pig. It'll grow more than you do with your fancy grass box, replies Grandad Dog. <coughs> Grandpa Pig decides to leave Grandad Dog to his gardening. 
Could I have some tomatoes, please, Grandpa Pig? <coughs> Asked Granny Pig. I'm afraid the tomatoes aren't ready yet, says Grandpa Pig. Maybe Grandad Dog will lend us some of his, suggests Granny Pig. <coughs> Grandad Dog, <coughs> calls Granny Pig. Do you have any tomatoes we could borrow? Borrow? You can take as many as you like, <coughs> says Grandad Dog. Everyone goes into Grandad Dog's greenhouse. <laughs> They're a lot bigger than your tomatoes, Grandpa, says Peppa. <laughs> they may be bigger, but that doesn't mean they are better, <laughs> replies Grandpa Pig. Mmm, <coughs> yummy. This is the best tomato I have tasted ever, <coughs> says Peppa, tasting one. <sighs> <laughs> says Grandpa Pig. Now Granny Pig has a basket full of delicious tomatoes. We're going to make a tomato salad, says Granny Pig. Grandad Dog tells her about his special tomato and basil salad recipe. The problem is I don't have any basil, says Grandad Dog. My grandpa had lots of lovely basil, says Peppa. Grandpa Pig shows them the basil he has grown in his greenhouse. Wow! Very impressive, says Grandad Dog. Peppa and George are feeling hungry now. Is it lunchtime yet? asks Peppa. It's time to make the salad. First we slice up the tomatoes, says Grandad Dog. Then we use a little splash of olive oil. Don't forget to add these lovely basil leaves, says Grandpa Pig. Time to tuck in everyone, says Grandad Dog. Hmm. Grandad Dog's tomatoes are marvellous and Grandpa Pig's Basil leaves are beautiful. This is the best tomato salad in the world ever. <coughs> Cheers, Peppa. <coughs> the end. Peppa Pig, safety first. Today is a very fun day at Peppa's school. The police are visiting. Wow! They will teach us about safety, says Madame Gazelle. Hooray! The students go outside to wait for the police to arrive. <laughs> the children make noises like a police siren. Nina, Nina, says Freddy Fox. They hear a real siren. A police car arrives. I am Police Officer Squirrel, says one police officer. And I am Police Officer Panda, says the other. The officers are here to teach the children about bike safety. Peppa and her friends ride all over the schoolyard. Well done, says Officer Panda. Next, the children practice ringing their bells and honking their horns. Peppa is good at ringing her bell, but Pedro Pony is the loudest of all. It is time to practice breaking. Officer Panda goes to the bottom of the hill. Peppa and her friends race down the hill. At the bottom, they use their brakes to stop. Very good, everyone, says Officer Panda. Madame Gazelle rides down the hill next. Whee! She cheers. She rings her bell and uses her brakes. Well done, 
says Officer Panda. Peppa and her friends clap. <coughs> the children learn it is a police officer's job to help others and keep them safe. <coughs> Peppa Pig thinks being a police officer sounds very important. <coughs> Freddy Fox does too. I want to be a police officer, says Freddy Fox. I like blowing whistles. There is more to being a police officer than blowing whistles, says Officer Panda. <laughs> we must always keep our eyes and ears open, says Officer Panda. <gasps> then he walks into a tree. <coughs> oh, he says, who pooped that tree there? <coughs> I will make a note, says Officer Squirrel. Dangerous trees, she says as she writes. A police officer's work is never done. Oh! It is time to say goodbye. <sighs> Peppa and her friends thank the officers for visiting. Bye bye, everyone says. <laughs> Officer Squirrel and Officer Panda drive their police car back to the station. This time they leave the siren off. They are not in a hurry. Peppa learned a lot today. Maybe when she grows up, she will help keep others safe too. The end. Peppa Pig, Peppa's Baking Competition. Hmm. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is having a baking competition. And Peppa is very excited. Can we bake a special cake, please? She asks Mummy and Daddy Pig. Yes, of course, Peppa, says Mummy Pig. We can all bake a cake together. George cheers. Cake! <laughs> can we make a cake like this? Asks Peppa, pointing to the recipe book cover. That's a Victoria sponge, says Daddy Pig. It's a classic. <laughs> Peppa and George have lots of fun making their Victoria sponge. Spanky, spanky, says George. <laughs> hmm, it looks nice, says Peppa, looking at the cake. But I'm not sure it's special enough. <sighs> Miss Rabbit loves carrots. Maybe we should make a carrot cake, says Peppa. Great idea, says Mummy Pig. So they bake a lovely sweet carrot cake. Hmm, mm, it looks tasty, says Peppa, looking at the carrot cake. But I wonder if a chocolate cake might be even more special. You can't go wrong with a chocolate cake, Peppa, says Daddy Pig. Why's that, Daddy Pig? asks Mummy Pig. Because it's made of yummy chocolate, of course, replies Daddy Pig. <laughs> so Peppa and her family set to work and bake a yummy chocolate cake. Hooray! Soon the chocolate cake is ready. Wow! They all look so special, <laughs> says Peppa. I don't know which one to choose for the competition. <coughs> then Peppa has a brilliant idea. She puts the cakes on top of each other. <laughs> then she covers the whole cake and the kitchen in rainbow sparkles. <coughs> it's my special giant sprinkle cake. Peppa announces proudly. It's got sponge chocolate and carrot cake all together. <laughs> now that looks really, really special, Peppa, says Mummy Pig, smiling. <laughs> when they get to the competition, Peppa sees her friends, Susie Sheep, Danny Dog and Emily Elephant. They have made cakes too. <sighs> Miss Rabbit spends a long time deciding. Finally, she makes an announcement. Hooray! The winner of my baking competition is... 
Pep and George's special giant sprinkle cake. <laughs> Everyone cheers. Hooray! <laughs> Thank you, Miss Rabbit, says Peppa. What's my prize? A piece of delicious cake, says Miss Rabbit. <whistles> Peppa loves cake. Everyone loves cake. <laughs> the end. <whistles> Peppa Pig, the boat pond. <whistles> Peppa and George have brought their toy boats to race on the pond. Wow! George's boat has to be wound up. <coughs> the ducks come over to see Peppa and George. Bonk, bonk. Hello ducks, may we use your pond to sail our boats? <coughs> Asked Peppa. My boat doesn't wind up, says Peppa, looking for the winder on her boat. Your boat doesn't need winding up, Peppa, <coughs> says Mummy Pig. <coughs> it just needs a little help, says Daddy Pig, <laughs> blowing Peppa's boat along. <sighs> <coughs> Here is Peppa's friend, Susie Sheep. Hello, everyone, <coughs> she cries. I've got my speedboat. It has batteries to make it go. Woof! Here is Danny Dog with Grandad Dog. Hooray! My granddad made me this pedal boat. It's steam powered, <coughs> says Danny. Wow! Rebecca Rabbit arrives with her mummy. I wish I had a boat, she says. <sighs> I've got an idea, says Daddy Pig, picking up his newspaper. When I was a little piggy, I used to fold newspaper to make paper boats, says Daddy Pig, handing a boat to Rebecca. Thank you, Mr. Pig, says Rebecca, placing her paper boat on the pond. Now George wants a paper boat too. Daddy Pig makes paper boats for everyone. Let's race, says Mummy Pig. Ready, steady, blow! The boats speed across the pond. We have a winner, says Daddy Pig. <laughs> That's George's boat, says Peppa. George is the winner. Hooray! Everybody cheers. I like paper boats the best cries Peppa. <laughs> Me too, cry all the children. <laughs> it's time to go home now. Everybody has had a great day. Bye bye ducks, <coughs> says Peppa. <coughs> the ducks enjoyed the toy boats, but they like having their pond back too. <coughs> the end. Peppa Pig, the pumpkin contest. <laughs> Today is Halloween at Peppa's school. Wow! We are going to have a pumpkin contest, says Madame Gazelle. Hooray! Do you all have your pumpkins? <gasps> Susie has her pumpkin. <laughs> Pedro has his pumpkin. Wow! Emily, Freddy and Danny have their pumpkins too. <coughs> Peppa does not have her pumpkin. Oh no! It's still growing at my grandpa's house, she says. <coughs> Just remember to bring it for the contest tonight, says Madame Gazelle. All the children go home. They will come back tonight for the contest. <coughs>
Granny and Grandpa Pig drive Peppa to her pumpkin. Is my pumpkin big? Peppa asks. Oh, yes, says Grandpa Pig. Peppa's pumpkin is very big. Wow, cries Peppa. It is the biggest pumpkin in the whole world. <coughs> Granny and Grandpa Pig help Peppa decorate her pumpkin. Spooky, says Peppa. <laughs> now it is time to go to the contest. Oh no, Peppa's pumpkin is too big big to fit in the car. I will miss the contest, <sighs> Peppa says sadly. No, you won't, says Grandpa Pig. We just need some help. He calls Miss Rabbit. <coughs> Miss Rabbit uses her helicopter to lift the pumpkin. All aboard, she says. Next stop, the pumpkin contest. Back at the school, the pumpkin contest is about to begin. The children can't wait. <laughs> is everyone here? asks Madame Gazelle. Peppa is not here, <laughs> says Danny Dog. Oh dear says Madame Gazelle. We will have to start the prizes without her. Oh. The prize for the best pumpkin from the market goes to Pedro Pony. <laughs> then the children hear a sound outside. What is that in the sky? It's a flying pumpkin. <laughs> it's Peppa's pumpkin. Wow! cry the children. <laughs> Am I in time for the contest? Peppa asks. Oh yes, says Madame Gazelle. The prize for the best flying pumpkin goes to Peppa. Hooray! Hooray! shout the children. <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> the end. Peppa Pig Phonics. They get wet. George likes to get wet. He gets wet in the tub. Grampy Rabbit likes to get wet. He gets wet in a sub. Pedro likes to get wet. He gets wet in the rain. Dr. Hamster likes to get wet. She gets wet in a plane. Daddy Pig likes to get wet. <laughs> he gets wet when it's hot. But not only then. He gets wet quite a lot. Peppa likes to get wet. She gets wet with the hose. Mummy likes to get wet. She gets wet on the nose. <laughs> Rebecca Rabbit likes to get wet. She gets wet in the pool. Goldie likes to get wet, even at school. Grampy Rabbit likes to get wet. He gets wet out at sea. The ducks like to get wet. They get wet one, two, three. The end. Hi kids, did you have fun watching this video? Then like and subscribe for more!